Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dolan TV, and welcome back to another edition of Edmonton Oilers discussion here on the channel today. And this is going to be a fun one. I think this is going to spark kind of that inward look at ourselves that we need to do at this point. Because, you know what, the, the hard part about the being an Oilers fan, obviously, has been the losing in the past, well... All but one year since 0506. I don't even want to do the math on the years because that uh, that just ages me and makes me feel old. But the hard part here is the expectation of losing. Okay, that's that's where I'm going to get right into. That's that's my debate topic right now today is the expectation of losing. And let's be serious. The Oilers started seven one and one. That is what it is. I'm going to go back to before that in the preseason, guys. The Oilers, if they stunk up a preseason game this year, which they did too, I believe it was uh, was it Vancouver and somebody else, they stunk up too, and everybody jumped on them, same old Oilers story, same old thing, game over. And I'm not going to pretend like I didn't. Okay, this is, keep in mind throughout this entire video, if you take offense to anything I say, keep in mind that I am just as guilty as this, if not more, on certain things then a lot of people I've talked to, a lot of people online, a lot of a lot of people in the sphere of Edmonton Oilers hockey this season. Okay, so don't don't pretend I'm pretending to be higher and mightier than anybody just because I sit here and shout on the internet and somebody watches it. No, nope, no, nope, not a chance. I I know what I am. I accept my flaws, and it is what it is. But let's let's just take that inward look at ourselves, and I'll do it as well. Here is the simple fact that. Even the expectation for management this year, okay? The expectation for management is where I want to start. It was not one that the Edmonton Oilers are going to win the Stanley Cup by being a President's Trophy team and sweeping all four rounds and rolling over the competition. And my goodness, this Oilers team is the best thing since sliced bread. No, it's really not. It, that's not what the expectation. The expectation for this year was to compete for playoffs, okay? That's all it comes down to, is compete for playoffs. Now, my expectation, I threw mine a little bit higher, was make the playoffs. Now, I didn't say, never in any time throughout the videos in the preseason or the offseason, did I say the Oilers are going to make the playoffs as the first place team in the Pacific. The Oilers are going to make the playoffs as the second place team in the Pacific. I did say they may be able to do it as the third seed but more than likely, the Oilers will sneak in in a wildcard position in fourth place in the Pacific Division. That's what I thought uh, I thought could happen. Now, that's fair, right? Obviously, if you're going to compete for playoffs, and that's the line for management, that's simple as this, guys, is you are not looking at one of those top three seeds in the division, okay? And you know what? The thing is, I, I saw online on Twitter today, somebody had this tweet about the morale, moral victory of being in the Stanley Cup final in 0506. I'm sorry. That's, it is a moral victory. It's something to feel good about, yes. And he's coming down saying, well, it's not something to feel good about. Nobody feels good about losing. Guys, if it wasn't for 0506 and that playoff run and that team just going on a run for the heck of going on a run, I wouldn't be here today. Okay, that's, that's straight up. I would not be as engaged as into Oilers hockey as I am without that run. That is, right, that is the terminus of my Oilers fandom. That is where it began. That is where all roads lead to. When you lead back to how it began, all roads lead to that season. And as much as, you know what, nobody enjoys losing, guys, to be that close, that just makes you hungry. And honestly, if you want to talk about why so many younger Oilers fans, right, I'd say 30 and under, are so upset at this team, is because, come on, in our youth, right, we were all, what, 05, 06 was 13 years ago, anyone 30 and under was not older than 18. Okay, so this was... Our hockey dreams, and whether you played hockey, whether you watched hockey, whatever the scenario was, those were your hockey dreams leading up, right? Whether you'd watched hockey all the way through or that was your first season. That was kind of the last hurrah of your teenage, younger years, right? Childhood of watching Oilers hockey and culminating in 
the closest thing to a Stanley Cup we've had since 1990. All right. So that's 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 what I'm gonna say. As much as it isn't that that was. There is no denying how beautiful that was for the Edmonton Oilers. If you're going to complain about being in the Stanley Cup final, I don't know what you're doing there. But that's exactly where it gets down to, guys, is this expectation of losing, right? We've we've allowed all the losing over the years to cloud the fact that, you know what, hockey's meant to be enjoyable. Hockey's meant to be something we can sit down, peace out from the world. It's escapism, right? We're not sitting here shouting at our TVs, because if the Oilers lose this game, I'm going to lose $500 in taxes, I'm going to get fired from my job, and the economy is going to crash. No, that's... No. So that's that's the hard part here, is we've allowed all the losing to make it seem like those are the real world hitting things that are going to happen. Now, I'm not saying that's exactly what's going to happen. What I'm saying is we've just kind of raised the bar a little bit too much and wound ourselves up inside our own heads a little bit too much here and it's a little bit uh a little bit need to tone down I think and we need to look inward and say you know what it's way too early to sit here and say it's another lost season I crap like no just calm down calm down nothing is going to blow up if the Oilers lose four games if the Oilers lose five games if the Oilers lose the season. Nothing in your life, unless you put a bet on the Oilers to win the Stanley Cup, make the playoffs on a bookie in Vegas, which very few people actually do, nothing in your life is going to change. And this is... Now, the reason I say all this, I guess I didn't explain the preamble, is when you guys... When I see the comments on my channel, when I see the comments on Twitter, Facebook, I I see comments from all over the internet, because I'm looking for it, is the simple fact that you would swear like somebody lost everything because the Oilers lost tonight or lost three in a row or whatever. And it's just rough because it's the expectation of losing that has just completely ruined any kind of satisfaction you can get from hockey. So what my prime example of that is we were 7-1-1, one, and one, nine games into the season. Now, like I said, None of us were really expecting much in the preseason. As I said, I jumped on him for some bad play in the preseason and such as such. But throughout that 7-1-1 streak, there was nobody. Like, yeah, you know what? There's always those, yay, it's fun, exciting to win a hockey game. There was a couple of those type kind of comments. But there was nobody, nobody online who said, oh, you know what? The Oilers are actually going to do it. And there... What I mean by that is, yes, there were comments like that, but nobody was actually being serious about it. Nobody meant it fully, in my mind. Everybody was just kind of, sucks to suck, we're 7-1-1, one, and one, right? Like, the rah, rah, rah. But there was always, there was always the negative undertones and the expectation of losing. There was always no... There was no one direction this team was going on in the online. In the online form of the Edmonton Oilers, there was no one direction every single piece of the fan base was going. No matter what happened, no matter what our record was so far this year, we have not all gone in one direction. And that's the weird part, is the expectation of losing has absolutely just crushed people. And I've talked to you guys in the comments. Some of you have said, you're just so burnt, you can't do it again. But yet you're still here you're still doing it right you're still but now it's not you're expecting them to win you're just hoping they lose to prove yourself right and that's that's the worst part is your your call your uh, you're a fan I, i'm not going to say you're calling yourself a fan because we're all fans i'm not t- sitting here and like i said keeping it on myself as well but you're almost cheering for the loss more than you're cheering for the win and that's that's what I really hate to see right now. At this point of the season, guys, our record is still above 500. We're two points out of first place in the division, and yet fans are cheering for the loss more than the win. If you check anywhere online, you will see Oilers fans with an 18-12 and 4 record on the NHL season cheering more for the loss, cheering more to lose than to win hockey games at this point. Nobody's talking about, after this three-game losing streak, what the Oilers can do better to win. I, I, I feel like I'm the only guy, and I know I'm not. It's simple things, and nobody wants to talk about it. But 
Everybody wants to talk about what we're doing wrong. Nobody wants to talk about what we can do better to win. Everybody wants to talk about how bad we're doing and how it's going to continue, which is completely delusional. Okay, that's that's the part I'm getting at. The expectation of losing has caused us to shift our focus from how to get better to as soon as adversity hits, we're done. I'm done. I can't handle it. It's going to be the same old, same old. I can't do it. I can't do it. And this is to the old quote, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And that's really tough as because subscriber Tim's always commenting about, um, you know what, the bandwagoning of Oilers fans, right? When they jump on, they're all on. But as soon as adversity hits, they're off. It's crap. It's the same thing I've seen a million times. Why did I bother? Well, you know what? That's, that's what I'm telling you right now. It's the expectation of losing. It's what's been built since 0506 within the fan mentality, within the online environment. There is no expectation of how to win, expectation of that. It's all an expectation of losing. And it's tough. And you know what? Same for me. I, I know. I sit here and I raw, raw, Oilers, I cheer. But would you rather sit, have me, would you rather, actually, let me ask you. Would you rather have me sit here and just crap all over the Oilers no matter what happens, be negative Nelly, no matter what can go right for this Oilers team, I find a way for it to be bad, 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 bad. Let me tell you, I can't be that guy and ain't nobody going to watch that because I'm sorry, nobody wants to watch a sore loser. And that's essentially what we've all become with this expectation of losing. Rather than enjoy the good times, we'd rather hope for the bad times. And that's what this seems to be this season. It's kind of my take, and I, I hope I hope you understand what I'm getting at, right? Is it's been built into our heads that only bad things can happen, so don't enjoy the good because the bad is coming. Never enjoy the good because the bad will happen. It's terrible. It's terrible. And it, it really sucks to see, but it just is the nature of the beast. And I don't know if I'm right or wrong on that, but I don't know what it's going to take. We could win the Stanley Cup, and I think people would still find a way to say this was a bad Oilers team. This team didn't deserve nothing. This team's terrible. Why? Everybody will find a way to write us off. And the worst part is it's coming from within our own ranks. Leave that to Toronto media. Leave that to the NHL media in the States. Leave that to the doubters. This is our team. Take pride in it. Take ownership and ask what can be done better, not how it can be done worse. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Guys, I'm Tyson, this is Stolen ATV. I will catch you in the next one.